Okay. Hi, my name is Chef Kim Reynolds, and I am the director and chef here at the Integrated Day Charter School. What we do here is we have a family meal approach. Um, it's community dining. The second grade through the eighth grade all eat together at these fine tables. They are round. They are not the long style tables. The pre-K through first grade, we do plate their food, but we do ask them to at least eat three of the five components off of the plate. So that's very important because it's not a full meat. It's, well, how do we say, it's not nutrition unless you eat it. But we serve um, a variety of fresh fruits and vegetables. Every other month I do an Eat the Rainbow Buffet where um, the faculty and the staff are able to come down and it's just a wonderful place to work and showing the kids what family style dining and community is all about. Hi, Michelle Pacienza, sixth grade teacher at the Integrated Day Charter School in Norwich, Connecticut. I'm here with Terry Wernicke, our music teacher, and we're here to talk about our collaboration with Chuck and Mira um, last year. Uh, our sixth grade curriculum, we were asked to read Number of the Stars, and with that, um, our students wanted to do a play, and my, I collaborated with um, Terry. And we took the book, Number of the Stars, and we had a student that expressed an interest in writing her own play. So she took it upon herself to write a script for the school of the version of the book, and we put the play together, and then we integrated with Chuck and Mira Costa from Hots. They came and they wrote two songs. songs. They collaborated with the students, did a lot of brainstorming and writing first and the students um, came up to the lyrics and music of two songs that were used during the play and also they did drawings. They did drawings Joyce that did. went along with the, with the songs. Um, and then we had a culminating uh, production after school, the play, the music. The artwork. The artwork was all included. Uh, so math is a very cerebral kind of thing that happens in your brain and there's not a lot of finished product that you have when you're done with math. One um, art project that I integrate into my math curriculum is when I teach volume and surface area of cubes and how to make nets and how to use those to construct a three-dimensional figure. We talk about a guy named Harry Holtzman who was a, an artist who lived in Lyme, Connecticut and did very rectangular, interesting, primary color-based uh, sculptures. And I'll, after we talk about him and his life and his work, I give the kids straws and glue and tape and col colored construction paper and say, you need to design some, court of, some kind of cubic structure that you will need to then draw and define mathematically and show a net for. And, uh, and each student produces a little kind of geometric shape thing and uh, a really big one upstairs. 